The more you associate happiness with curiosity, the happier you'll be when your curiosity is satisfied. Welcome to the happy channel. It's TRS Clips. Coming to Matara, let's bring it back to Matara. Sure. That part. Uh, uh, our, the way we look at Matara is that we worship Ugratara. Ugratara is a very fierce form of Matara. Whereas the, to my understanding, the Buddha conception of Tara, they have 21 different Taras and various grades of Taras, very mild to more extreme forms of Tara. And Tara is ubiquitous almost in the Buddha realm in a way. Okay. So, but the Hindu Tara is a Mahavidya. Okay. Mahavidya means a great knowledge. Uh, she has three primary forms. One is known as Eka Jata. Eka Jata means she has one Jata, one uh, hair. Okay. Jata, uh, I don't know what you call it in English. Braid. Braid, one hair. Eka Jata. Neela Saraswati. Saraswati is blue. And then there is Ugratara. Ugratara is very fierce. She is the fastest of all Mahavidyas in my opinion. But she also comes with a lot of Tandav. Okay. She is very fast in helping. And all I can, she has helped me many times. Uh, but um, when she makes her appearance, she is going to cause rearrange things in certain ways. And she is going to... Uh, one experience I know, one very good Upasaka. Basically, you have to have certain steadiness to worship her. Properly worship her. One thing is that, again, if you have devotion, general devotion to her, no problem. Everybody in the world can have general devotion. You can go to the Tarapit temple and other temples of Mahatara. No problem at all. Okay. But if you say that, no, I want to attain a closeness with her, then you should have the fitness to do that. Okay. Uh, one Upasaka at night was doing Tara Mantra, very fierce Tara Mantra, Ugra Tara Mantra at home, okay, deep at night and there was a Sankalpa, Sankalpa means you can't get up until you finish the certain count of Japa, you are doing that, I think he lived in the fourth or fifth floor or something like that, uh, middle of the night and he's doing the Japa and suddenly on the window there's banging, dak, 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 dak. and there's nobody who can climb up there, it's impossible, but you can't get up because you're in the Sankalpa, that is how you test your nerves. She comes with a force. Her Bhairava is Akshobhya. Akshobhya is one who is unshakable. So you have to imbibe that tattva of her to be unshakable. Once you do that, then it is beautiful. She is super fast. She is beautiful. But she comes, it's like you. you if you invite a tiger in the home, if the tiger scratches you a little bit, you can get a little hurt. Right? So you have to understand that and you have to, if you are okay with it, wonderful. She is the deity who helps maximum in cremation grounds. If somebody can connect to her, maximum help comes from her. She is very fast. She is like that light that comes. In a cremation ground is a very dark place. If you go to remote cremation grounds, it's a completely dark space. There is nothing there. Uh, they did uh, talking about remote ones specifically. The only light in the cremation ground is from the pyre that is burning. That light is psychologically like Mahatara. In a very complete darkness, she is the light. Tara is like the, the, the sky is where everything is dark. When you are navigating, somebody is navigating, you look at the stars and you get direction. She is the one who gives you the direction from there. But she has Ugra Tara. She, there is a fierceness in her, inherent in her. And those who love that fierceness, they love the fierce form of the mother. Eventually, you have to learn how, proper shakta, I believe, is somebody who has to learn to love the mother in her extreme fierceness and also in her extreme beauty and somya form. Ugrati, ugra, somyati, somya. The most fierce of the fierce. The same deity can suddenly turn the softest of the soft. There is Lalita Chupur Sundari, the most beautiful form of the mother. Most beautiful. Enchanting. She is, she is Kameshwari, this repository of all desires. She creates desires in human beings, in everything. Without desire, the world is going to stop. Nothing is going to Every desire is in her domain. Okay. And then there is Kali. Absolute raw force. When Ma Kali's force, somebody experiences, it's, it's like there is no compromise in there. It is, it is, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the one thing that is there. There is a degree of madness needed in the Upasaka 
to be able to close be close to her there's no compromise she's full uh, she's the most in a way it is beautiful beauty is subjective so you can look at it anyway then there is chinnamasta one of the mahavidyas she is to be invoked in cases where there are things are very extreme absolutely absolute negativity is there worst kind of negativity that you can imagine then her sadhanas and then her mantras her prayogas come into play and they have a very strong impact then there is ma baglavam who can stop everything at a higher level even stop this may sound very weird to the more skeptical minded people but uh, the shastras will tell you worship of her can give you the ability to stop natural things stop the wind stop a rain stop a cloud stambana stop negative entities stop positive entities you can stop everything it's it's shakti upasana is beautiful endless i felt like this wasn't you talking all these things <laughs> why why did you say all these things i don't know just an inspiration came okay then i followed it so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the artist clips